like uh, uh, making Ubuntu work across a uh, number of devices, from all the way from desktop to TV and then down to tablet and phone. And uh, this is an early build of Ubuntu, and uh, it's optimized for the Galaxy Nexus hardware. And uh, it works really well with our design because you can see there are no buttons in the front of the uh, not even home button or back or anything. And uh, we don't need any buttons because. What's unique to us, we use all the edges of the phone to access its functions. And uh, if I swipe here from the left, I get the list of my favorite applications. Not just a limited number of applications that are useful on uh, the lock screen. And from the right, I can go back to the previous screen. It's like a straight unlock, as you like, with the classic unlock. And uh, now we have the home screen, and uh, this is a place where you can find and retrieve all your content, whether it's on your device or on your cloud or an online store. And uh, you can customize these paragraphs uh, the way you like. So for example, if you want to see apps, these calls, the films you like, music have recently added, or maybe the stores that you frequently visit, you can just access them all on this page, you just scroll up and down. And then we also got a few dedicated pages for different types of content, like this one for apps, where on one page you can see all my running apps, frequently used apps, installed apps, and even apps that are not yet installed. So if you want to install an app, you can do it straight here from the home screen. You don't have to go to a separate uh, software center if you don't want to. And, uh, there's a page for videos, there's one for music. But I want to highlight our people um, here because that's something where we did some really cool integration with uh, social networks and, and, yeah, and web apps. So there's a one page where you can keep an eye on what your, what your friends are up to. We can pull in the latest uh, Facebook or Twitter status right here on the home screen. The little dot also means whether they are available for chat or uh, whether they're busy. And uh, if I open any of these, I find all the contact information. So I can choose whether I want to call or message them or rather email. email them. And uh, talking about Facebook, uh, the status message we display here is, is connected to straight to the Facebook. So if I want to see a friend's status and reply to it, I just tap on it on the home screen and I can see it here on the web directly, so I can respond to a friend status directly from here. And it's what we call a web app, so this is the uh, Facebook HTML5 app running on, it's basically the mobile Facebook, it's the, it's the full Facebook. And uh, we have promoted this um, web apps to the same level as the native app, so it, it resides here right next to all the native apps, and it can and send notifications to the screen, and uh, it can receive shares, and uh, kind of stuff that you would expect. And, uh, but if you're rather interested in native apps, um, we've created a gallery, a new photo gallery, to, to, to highlight all our latest thinking uh, apps. So, first thing you can see is the, the it's, it's very clean, so it's all based on white space, organic layout, nice typography, and uh, no buttons, no chrome anyway. So, if I want to just engage my content, uh, scroll up and down my events, uh, hand across events here, that's all I see. So there is, there is no distraction. And uh, let's open a photo. Here I can see. Um, now this brings us to the, we talked about edges, and uh, this brings us to the bottom edge. It belongs to your app. So if I want to do something with this photo, I find all the relevant controls here, the bottom of the screen. So if I want to share it, there's a button for that, I can just select Facebook and a uh, little thumbnail appears and I can write a message to a company and share. Then I can dismiss the video. Uh, so that's the bottom edge. Now the top edge belongs to the system setting. So usually on the phone it's, it's really tedious if, uh, to change any settings. You have to find the settings and first go to home, go through five different menus to change them. So here, if you see something, you can use it. So if you just need to 
changed the brightness and brand yeah. event. So you open the menu and you click the switch and then push the menu away. And what's really cool, we have integrated messaging as part of this uh, experience. So this is a list of all your outstanding messages from different sources like emails, phone calls, SMSs. But it's not just a static list that points you to an app to handle with a message. So if I tap on the message, it expands and gives me options on how to deal with that message. So I can reply, return a call, or reply to a message straight from the notification. For example, so that's a text message. There's a reply field, I tap on it, the keyboard pops up, I can type in a reply, send it, and when I'm done, I just dismiss the menu and I'm right back at what I was doing. So that makes my like, casual messaging really fluid and uninterrupted, uninter uh, uninterrupted uh, policies. So okay, bottom edge apps, top edge system. From the left, I can always launch into a new app and it slides in from the left. And uh, logically then, if I want to go back to another app, I just grab the right hand edge and uh, then go through my running apps as if I'm clicking to a stack of cards. 